Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now tonight's pour is going to be a car theme painting. So uh, I came down tonight just to do a painting and I wasn't sure what I'm going to do. Like a lot of nights uh, I come down to paint. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to paint. So I go through my collection of Hot Wheels when I decided to do a Hot Wheels painting. And so I found this one. And it is a Mustang. Now, I want to do a Mustang because I've got a show coming up in a couple weeks. And the last show I did, I had a number of people ask me uh, if I had a Mustang. I've done a lot of Mustangs. Well, not a lot, but I've done some Mustangs. And they always sell pretty fast. So I thought, hey, I'll, I'll do a Mustang. And I there was a guy that came up to me and he wanted me to do him one. Um, I, think it was a Mustang. Was it a Mustang or what was it a Camaro? I don't think it was a Camaro. It's a Mustang. I know it wasn't a Charger because I always has seemed like I have a Charger. I'm pretty sure it was a Mustang. And uh but anyway he was like could you do me do one and then I told him I was gonna be at this event uh in October and I said I'll have one by then and I'm pretty sure it was a Mustang. So I'd kind of like to have a couple of them for him. So I'm going to do one tonight, a couple for him to choose or a couple so that in case he doesn't show up like on the first couple of days, cause it's a four day event and I might sell them uh, pretty fast. So this is the one I decided to go with. It is a 65 Ford Mustang. As you can see, it's blue, got white stripe and a red stripe on it. And the number six, on it, not that we're gonna do anything with the six, but I was gonna do just some white and red coming out the back. But the problem with that is with the white and the red, you're gonna get some pink. I don't really want pink in it. So I decided to go with just some flames out the back and I decided to go with a blue background and I decided to go with a metallic blue. So we're gonna use Artist Loft Metallic Blue. That's what we're going to go with because I like working with metallics and I just like the color, especially on a background. So this one right behind me, this green one is a green metallic on the background. And I have some more in metallics um, stashed away, getting ready for, for the next show. So I've already got the blue paint mixed and down on the canvas so all we have to do is adjust the camera and we can get started show all right so as you can see we have the blue on here i don't know if you can see it in the camera uh, at this point but there i put a lot of streaks in it because as i've said before when when dealing with metallic paints or with with painting with them i have noticed that if you put these streaks in them like this um, when it dries, they stay there. And so it kind of gives you the, uh, texture look, which is what I like. If you don't like that, then don't put any streaks in it, but I do like it. And so, and then when you, uh, when it dries, you'll still see them. And then when you resin them and you'll, you'll really see them. So that's what I want to do. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can get some of this red. I had some trouble with the clogging up and yeah, there's a little clog in it. I really need to clean this out. I was going to clean it out and I forgot about it. So we're going to pour it out. We're going to get a lot of flames. I need to clean this thing out. big gunk, big piece of gunk out of there. Whew. Then we're going to go some orange. Some yellow. Just a little bit of white. Yeah. 
We have some of our blue left. Pour on the outside of that. Hair dryer going. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I don't have it plugged in. Excuse me while I plug it in. I took this, uh, I took my hair dryer to the class I taught. I took it to the class I taught. I take all my supplies in a tote and I had my bottles of distilled water that I use. One tipped over and so it, uh, there was a little bit of water in the bottom of my tote. So my cord was wet when I brought it home and I haven't used it since then. So I didn't plug it in while the cord was still wet. And it wasn't just the cord, it was the the uh, the metal part that plugs into the outlet, the th prongs or whatever you want to call them. And I wasn't about to electrocute myself, so I let it sit there dry. That's why I wasn't plugged in. I like the cells in there, but I kind of want some more red in here.
think I'll leave it like that. I think that's a pretty good fire effect. So we'll have our car like right there. So that'll work. I like it. Let me give it a torch though real quick. Let's see what we can do. All right, so this is dried. I, it's on a 10 by 20 canvas. We have the back taped. So a 10 by 20 canvas will take seven ounces of resin. I got that on art resin calculator. You can type in the size of your canvas. It'll tell you how much resin you need. And that's the total amount of resin. So you need to split that in half because it does come in a two part kit, hardener and epoxy. So it's three and a half and three and a half ounces each and I've mixed it for oh, a couple minutes and I've got it in this cup that has the ounces measured on the side so I can just fill it up to that spot and start mixing makes it very easy you know me I'm all about doing things easier working smarter not harder took me a while to figure that out but I eventually got there. Hmm. So I'm going to hold on to this because I've got some new cardboard core things here. And so they're kind of moving around. The canvas moves around on it. So I guess until that gets a build up, it's not going to, so it doesn't move. So it moves fairly easily right now. I just like these. They've come on. They have worked well for me over the years. I, I've told you this before. I get them at work. They're just something that we throw away when the um, the roll of printable tags runs out we replace the the kind of like a, a roll of toilet paper but it's for printing on printing tags to put on our products so at the end of the in, at the end of the roll of tags is this cardboard core and we take it out of the printer and we replace it with a new one well so I was, I started using these, so I would gather them up since I worked out on those, in that area where we have printers and I had other people that, you know, my coworkers, and a lot of them would help me and they'd save them for me and not throw them away. And so I would collect them pretty quickly. And, but, I do not work out on the production floor anymore. I'm in an office, so I, there's a couple people still out there that will save every, every, for me every once in a while, but it's been about two years since I've been out on the production floor working. So I'm not out there to be able to collect these up. So like I said, I'll, I'll sometimes I'll, I'll be out at the, out in that area because my job just sometimes takes me out there. And I will see that maybe one in the trash, which is just usually the trash can is usually just paper. Paper, you know, mostly paper stuff. So it's not like, you know, garbage, garbage, or food stuff of any kind. So I can just simply pull them out and take it back to my desk and then take it home at the end of the day. Or every once in a while, uh, somebody that is saving them for me will, will hand them to me. They'll have them saved back in, in their area. And I appreciate that very much, those that do that.
So I. So these are like my last four or five, four or five of them I've, I've had over the last six months or so collected. So I try to use them as long as I can until there's the buildup's just way too much and then I have to change them out. And uh, I think the ones I changed out, there was a buildup of resin about about that thick on the ends just keeps piling up piling up so all right so we have this one i have all the air bubbles popped in it that i can see i see a little bit of a dry spot right there so we have our car which we're going with the the mustang So we're gonna set it right in here. And there you have it. We have a finished piece. Uh, it will dry and then when it dries, it'll affix that car right in there. It won't fall off. You can actually pick it up by these once it's dried. And so it's on there permanently. I mean, you could probably dig it out with a knife I wouldn't recommend it because you're going to ruin the whole thing. Um, but I know I have a lot of parents who say, "Oh, my kid would take would pull it off." Yeah, it would. There might be some kids out there that are pretty destructive, but it would take quite a bit for them to get it off there. But let me know what you think of this one, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.